Hi there, this is Debbie Eno. I hope that you guys are well. I just thought, let me just jump on very quickly, just to see how people are doing and see what they're grateful for, what they are grateful for. So my gratitude as normal, one of the things that lead my, my list of gratitude in the morning is grateful for being alive and being in the land of the living, because as we know, not everybody made it. I'm also grateful for my bed, which has given me a nice relaxed rest because I need that. Nowadays, I've been so very tired through traveling, you know, back and forth to school. Another thing I'm really grateful for, and I'm going to see, I also see that as my win. Since I got in the school, I've been doing a number of topics with some students and they just wasn't getting it. And they actually had a aha moment yesterday. I had an aha moment from my year 13s. And today, my year 10s, aha, they got it. So that was really fantastic. Because as you know, people, when you're actually doing something for a while and they're not getting it, oh, you know, you still continue because it's beautiful just trying to see them to get it. And they got it. And that was my aha moment today. Another thing I'm grateful for, the exam topics have been released. I think it was released on Monday. But we were so busy, we didn't have time to look at it. So it means that I have an opportunity to select the topics which have been given to us, support the student to actually understand the areas which they need to know well for the exams. Because what they've done is for the GCSE and the A-levels, the topic have been released so that we are only teaching those specific topics and revising those specific topics. However, some areas, it's been fantastic because they've actually removed quite a lot in some subjects. In some subjects, again, they've released very, they've removed very little. And when you look at it, you think, oh my goodness, it doesn't make a difference, you know. But I am still grateful the fact that we know, you know, we have an idea of the topics. But what that means for us in terms of um, the marks, we are, we, you know, we need to make the mocks very much reflective of the topics that have been released. So all the mocks we've actually set because students are meant to do mocks after half term, we need to go and redo it so that it is aligned with the topics that have just come out. So that's, that's slightly, you know, challenging, but it's fine. We just have to get on with it. Um, some schools have been experiencing a number of challenges regarding to staff shortage. And as a, the reasons for that is some, some staff have been test positive. And as we know, when they test positive for COVID, they cannot come into school. They have to isolate. And that's been happening. In one of the schools I'm in, um, we've had that. We also have the fact that a lot of schools rely heavily on supply teachers and there are not a lot of supply teachers out there so initially you know when we started lockdown there were a few supply teachers now there seems to be dwindling so the school i mean we had to send home a number of year groups about four year groups and we'll be teaching them online not because it's COVID, that's why we teach it online. We teach it online because there's shortage of staff. So it's better that the children actually go home and then you teach them from home remotely or you send work for them remotely, etc. So that's been happening in a number of schools. You know, staff shortage, which leads to, um, you know, we having to teach students online and things like that. Well, um, for me, we, I am not teaching online because today I had the last of the students who are, are going to be taught online from tomorrow. Either you, it's either they're being taught or you send them work or both of them. So that's one of the issues. That's what, not an issue. That's one of the challenges. So for me, as I said, my students are all in tomorrow, but today that was one of the issues. Some of my students had to, um, had to go home, but they actually went home at the end of the lesson. Another thing is when students tell you something, as I keep on saying, we need not dismiss it. We need to listen and um, see what they're talking about. 
too often teachers are quick to dismiss students when they say something or they ask something which is outside of the topic you know we need to pause and listen and see how benefits those things are because sometimes they can be because today one of my students um i was doing year 10 saying to me oh miss um there are lots of children from the year group going downstairs why aren't we going i said i don't know i said just get on with your walk and she keep on saying miss there's something something must be happening can you look at your email i said okay i looked at my email and an email was sent to everybody that we had to take the student down you know they were having an assembly and if i had not listened to that student you know we would not we would have missed the assembly so that's one of the things i'm constantly saying we need to listen to our students we listen to them and decide whether or not what they've said to us whether or not is something we're going to move forward with us we're going to leave because sometimes the students are telling us things which are valuable because the fact that when i went into my email i was meant to take the student down we were 10 minutes late but i didn't know about it so had i not listened to her we would not have actually got to the assembly so educators it's important that you listen to your students and make a judgment whether or not you know they're talking idly or there is some value in what they're saying what's my win my win as i said previously is my aha moments yesterday you know my year 13 we were doing some um we're doing sociology and you know throughout the global um we're doing globalization and green crime and all of a sudden she said oh i've got it and you're thinking wow that was an aha moment and i had the same thing today you know we were looking at um research methods and research methods are a very challenging topic for students whether or not it's from sociology or psychology research method is quite challenging for some students and it was brilliant when she said ah miss i got it yes that was my you know my moment today in terms of my win because when students get something you've been teaching them for a while it's it's quite nice because it means that they are connecting and they you know they're understanding and things are beginning to you know fall into place so that's my um my win for today as i said you know there are shortage of teachers even shortage of supply teachers as a result of that it means that we're doing a little bit more and it's quite tiring and this is the first time in my years of teaching that i'm actually really really looking forward to having half term which is next week i even saying that silently to myself that i'm really glad tomorrow is friday i have never thought like that that's never been my thinking that you know i'm glad that the weekend is coming etc when i say I'm glad the weekend coming because i've got so many things to do for the weekend but i'm actually glad the weekend is coming because i'm exhausted and this seems to be something that is happening with all educators i talk to i've got lots of educators friends and it's the same thing it's like a tiredness is just really engulfing us and it really is something else and i'm so glad that next week i'm off for the week because i've got so many things i have to do in terms of you know finish sorting out the exam script and things like that because when the students come back the the week after they come back we are doing mocks with them to see how they're getting on in relationship to the topics that they've been taught so you know there's where i'm at and i'm really looking forward to having a break basically i'm just tired every day i'm coming home on those train and i'm falling asleep on the train it's like one student said to me miss i'm sure i saw you on the train you know but you were sleeping really oh my goodness i am so tired i'm falling asleep on the train you know but i you know, probably it's not long because i'm getting up just in time to to get off the train so i have not missed my stop and i've never really been able to sleep on things but i'm actually falling asleep on the train 
Yeah, and I'm just hoping that after half term that I'm able to connect myself because I'm just kind of tired. Anyway, people, I want you to identify your win, whether or not you're an educator or not. Identify your win for today. What, you know, what actually you, you look at and thinking, yes, I'm really satisfied. You know, this is a win for me because there's something positive that happened. You know, a win could also be, it could be a negative situation from which you find the positive in it. That could be a win for you, right? Negative that you identify the positive because as I said, within all negative situations, there are positive. So it could be a negative situation in which you find the positive in it. So that's your win and what you're grateful for. So identify five things you're grateful for in the morning when you get up in the morning and you greet the world with your presence. What are you grateful for? And in the evening time when you're about to unwind and go to bed, etc., what are you grateful for that have taken place during the daytime? Right? Anyway, people, have a fantastic evening, night, wherever you are. Stay blessed, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. And don't forget, celebrate yourself dance in your celebration you don't have to be a dancer but you're dancing in celebration celebrate yourself celebrate your wins celebrate things you're grateful for you ought to do that anyway take care stay blessed bye, -bye.